I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, I ain't in it, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Chris, aka The Capital Connecting in today's video. I'm going to be answering the question, why I teach trading psychology from the Bible. Now, I got this question a couple of times, you know, in my Instagram DMs and on YouTube. And, you know, I was like, man, let's just go ahead and make a video about it because, you know, the reasons for it are important. And I understand that, you know, it's not like it's, it's not common, right? I obviously know that when you think trading psychology, you don't think God, you don't think Bible. So, you know, it's 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 not quote unquote normal. So let's just go ahead and get into the reasons, man. Um, it's really only three reasons why I teach trading psychology from the Bible. And the first reason being, you know, I'm the proof. And what I mean by that is I have seen the things that I've talked about, you know, and I haven't even talked about yet, you know, cause I got future day trading secrets from the Bible videos as well. But you know, I've seen the Bible help my trading psychology immensely. Like, it has literally taken me from unprofitable to break even where I'm at right now. And if you guys watched the video I made, I think it was like how I lost $3,000 this year or or three lessons after losing three, something like that, bro. Um, I made it a couple of months ago, but in the background, you would see that I had my my FX book in the background. This is when I was trading Forex, but I had my FX book in the background and you would see, like you saw like my account balance, my graph or whatever. And you saw that in the beginning, bro, my account was just literally falling off a cliff. Then all of a sudden, it kind of just straightened out, flattened out, right? And some people was like, bro, what what, what did you do? Like, what change was that? Did you change your strategy? Like, what happened? And I can honestly say, I didn't do anything differently. All I did was fix my trading psychology. I wouldn't even say fix because, you know, it's still working on me. I'm, I'm still a work in progress. I'm not perfect. So all I did was start implementing the things that I have talked about so far in day trading secrets from the Bible, right? I started implementing those things in my trading. I started implementing the Bible, the word of God, right? The scriptures in my trading, right? I started actually acting on it as if it were true because it is true, right? It's not even, it's not only true, it's truth, right? So I started implementing it in my trading and I saw drastic results, right? I went from falling off a cliff to being break even, right? Just, just only after switching a couple of things in my trading psychology. So I'm the proof, right? I've had people reach out to me saying, yo, bro, your day trading secrets from the Bible videos, they really helped me. Um, they helped my trading psychology. You know, I'm not making the same mistakes anymore, blah, 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 right? So it's not just me, it's other people as well. But you know, reason number two and reason number three are the most important. So let's just jump into reason number two of why I teach trading psychology from the Bible. And the second reason is simply this, right? If God ain't in it, it's gonna fail. So let's go ahead and go to the scripture. Um, Psalms chapter 120, Psalm chapter 127, uh, verse one, where it says, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. So what that scripture is telling us guys is that, like I said before, if God ain't in it, you're wasting your time, right? If God's not in it, you're literally not protected at all, right? If, right, if, unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. So what that is telling us is, you know, we need to have God in everything that we are doing if we want to have any chance of it being stable, right? I know a lot of us, our goal is to be, you know, full-time day traders, right? We want to quit our jobs, be full-time day traders, right? Not have a boss, blah, 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 right? But here's the thing. If you're building your trading off of anything but God, is it really protected? If you're building your trading off of anything but God, is it really stable? Right. And I don't know about y'all, but you know, when it comes to my life, when it comes to my money, right, especially with trading, it's already, you know, stressful enough. It's already unpredictable enough. I don't need to be adding more un unpredictability to it because I don't want to put God in what I'm doing. Right. Like that verse is telling us that God needs to be in everything we do. Maybe that's why Jesus, maybe that's why he says, you know, I'm the alpha and the omega, the first and the last, right? The beginning and the end, right? Jesus is saying, 
Everything starts and it ends with me. So when it comes to my trading and my trading psychology, everything is going to start and it's going to end with God, bro. Because if God ain't in it, I don't want it, to be honest. If God ain't in it, I don't want it, right? Because I don't know about y'all, but when I build my trading house, I want it to stand, right? And that means I need to have God in it. If I build my trading house, right, and I want it to be protected, I need to have God watching it. Because if, if God ain't watching it, guess what? The watchmen stay awake in vain. So, you know, trading psychology from the Bible is a way for me to make sure that I am keeping God in the middle of all of this, right? I don't ever want to feel like I'm doing anything on my own. And I know some people may look at that and be like, oh, bro, what's wrong with you? Oh, you being overly spiritual, blah, 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 blah. But look, bro, y'all can think whatever you want to think, right? I'm not here to please y'all, right? I'm here to serve y'all. The only person I'm here to please is God. So, um, that's that. So um, that verse is letting us know that if God ain't in it, we're wasting our time. If God ain't in it, we're wasting our energy. If God ain't in it, what we got, we don't really have. So that is why I teach trading psychology from the Bible. That's the second reason. Um, and then let's go, go to the third reason, right? The third final reason why I teach trading psychology from the Bible. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 55 verse. Uh, let's start at verse eight. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, and catch this, y'all, and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. The third and final reason is this. Your best chance at success, my best chance at success when it comes to finding, you know, profitability in the markets is going to be if we start applying God's word to it. Right. I don't know if you guys caught this in the verse, but it says it, it, God says his word is like the rain and the snow from heaven. Right. When when it rains, when it snows. Right. Does the earth. Right. Does the plants. Does the grass. Does the trees. Do they, do they have a choice whether they want to grow or not? Right. Do they have a choice whether they want to grow or not? No, the, the grass is going to grow. Why? Because it's raining. Right. The rain makes it grow. And so what God is telling us is. His word is exactly like that, right? If we apply his word to whatever we're doing in our lives, right? We don't have to do any work. There's no work required on our part, right? His word will make it happen. He will make it become successful. Why? Because God is not a liar. It's not that he does not lie. He cannot lie, right? So if we apply his word to anything that we are doing, we are guaranteed success in that thing, right? We are guaranteed to be better off than what we were doing before we applied it. So I teach trading psychology from a biblical perspective simply because I want to give you guys, as I also want to give myself, but I want to give you guys the best chance at becoming profitable. And I know that the best chance at becoming profitable for any of us is if we involve God in what we are doing, right? I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone, you know, thinks about you know me teaching trading psychology from the bible oh god doesn't care about money oh god doesn't care about trading oh god doesn't care about that like okay you can believe that if you want to right you believe that and i'm gonna I'm a believe what i believe that is why i teach trading psychology from the bible right number one i'm living proof that it works right not only me but other people as well right it is taking me from unprofitable to break even right and i know for a fact it's going to take me from break even to profitable right why because god's not a liar right he cannot lie right number two i want god in everything that i'm doing unless the lord builds the house they labor in vain who build it unless the lord protects the city the watchmen stay awake in vain i want god to build my house i want god to protect my city right that is why i am including god in everything that i'm doing when it comes to trading right now, i have yet to find a trading strategy in the bible but trust me y'all if I find one, I'm going to let y'all know. But trading psychology, God definitely has that on lock. He's the best trading psychologist. Why? Because he designed the human brain. He knows exactly how we think. He knows exactly how we're wired. Who better to speak on or who better to teach about trading psychology than God?
And then lastly, guys, his word is going to make it happen. That's the best part about all of this, right? None of this. We don't have to do anything on our parts. The only thing we have to do is implement what he says. If we implement what he says, it'll make it happen. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and water the earth and make it bring forth in bud so that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, right? That's how his word is, God. He said his word will not return to him void and it will accomplish that which he pleases, right? We already know that if we apply it, because he told us, we already know that if we apply it, it's going to work. It's not a question of if it's going to work. It's a question of when it's going to work, because the moment you apply it, it'll work. Now, you guys have a decision to make. Are you guys going to be standing on truth or are you going to be standing on what's true? Right. What's true is dynamic. It can change. What's truth is static. It cannot change. Right. What's true right now is I'm sitting down in my chair at my desk about to end this video. It's true, but it's not truth. Why? Because in a couple of hours, I'll be laying down in my bed sleep. Right. So it changed. Right. The truth is static. It does not change. Right. If I pick up this cap with this water, if I pick up this cap with this water and I drop it, it's going to fall. Why? Because gravity is a truth. Right. Gravity will always take place. Right. It does not change. That is how God's word is. Right. And I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if your favorite, you know, YouTuber, influencer, whoever. Right. Tells you to do something differently. If it goes against what God says to do in his word when it comes to trading psychology, stand on truth. Don't stand on what's true. So that's all I got for this video, guys. I hope this gave you guys a little bit more insight as to why I teach trading psychology from the Bible. And I hope that it guys gives you a little bit more confidence in going out there and, you know, asking God for yourself to show you things that can help you in your trading. So that's all I got for today's video. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm gone.